Hey everyone, it's Lauren here. I'm back to share a 9 by 12 inch layout for you as part of my commitment to the Hip Kick Club design team. I have been challenged to be a part of the colour challenge over in the Hip Kick Club Facebook group this week and the colours that we were challenged to use were dark pink, pink, yellow and aqua. So I've hit I've hit all those colors as you can see right here and well the dark pink yet to come it comes in the color kit um, and I have got an Easter layout for you those gorgeous Easter eggs that you see there are free subscriber cut files available over in the hip kit club for April and I just cut um cut those out and back them with three different plain cardstock color out of the cardstock kit this month so they just look super sweet and I knew they were really intricate so I knew that they could cope with just having a solid background which was a really easy cut file to back it was a little bit fiddly getting all those little bits out because my I think my mat's getting a little bit old or my blade's getting a little bit old so getting all those little bits out was a bit fiddly but when you look at them sitting there like that you think that all that work is well worth it because they look super eastery and sweet and lovely here I am I'm just using a little bit of two of the watercolor inks that we got in our color kit for April and I've just blended the pink and the yellow the dark pink there you go I've ticked off that color challenge there the dark pink there into the yellow and I've added some splatters and I really love the way that that yellow reacted with that pink and sort of picked up a bit of that color there um, so I really love how I've just put that bit of a border something for the eggs to sit on and something for my photo to sit on so it doesn't look like they're sort of sitting out in the middle of space in the layout and um and yeah so that's just I just always need to find something to plonk it on it needs to be grounded like there needs to be grass there needs to be a mountain or something you can't just be off in the middle of space <laughs> so I've just decided that like I triple mounted my page with those um, plain colors I also want to do the same thing with my photo just to really get that dimension and to make that photo stand out amongst those bus busy embellishments with those cut file with those cut files I'm just using an edge distressing tool here I've got I've had that for years it's a prima marketing one and it's really good because it just roughs up those edges really quick and um, sort of hugs the photo and really brings that bit of dimension there I'm using a couple of cards from the pocket life kit this month just to add for some layering and to give a bit of an embellishment effect and of course it also has the title Easter there so it couldn't be more more perfect um, and I've just roughed up those edges with the edge distressor as well so so you can see that what how that watercolor background just sort of gave a bit of a platform for those eggs and the photo and the little cards to sit on and it also gave me a bit of a um, a background just to add my title on and in my embellishment so that that they're they're sort of blended into the background a little bit more so here you can see as you the formation of my layouts really coming together I did contemplate using my sewing machine and stitching around that border but I thought it actually wasn't wasn't too necessary um, with all that was going on but it probably would have made that nice little bit of detail on the page um, yeah anyway I want to add a few more splatters because I've got this heaviness down the bottom and I wanted to carry a little bit of that through so I've pulled out the watercolor inks again just the pink and the yellow and I just wanted some large droplets so I got a larger um, a larger brush with a larger bristles there and I sort of soaked up the color and let it drip down and when you let it drip down it gives that real splosh that real splatter so you get that nice natural splash on your page as opposed to if I tried to do that manually with my hand if I tried to do that get that look manually it wouldn't work so those big droplets you fill up your you soak up the bristles on your brush and you hold it up and let that droplet drip you get that nice splotch there and as you can see that's really tied that mixed media from the top into the bottom and it's come together really nice adding lots of dimension on this layout I've I'm a little bit hesitant with my Project Life album 
to add dimension, but I just couldn't resist with this Easter spread. I just knew it was so sweet and pretty and playful. I just wanted to enhance that by really getting things to jump off the page. The beautiful thing is the foam tape that I'm using there, I got it in a bulk roll from um, our local hardware store. It's to put pictures on your wall and it's actually quite thin it's not super thick so I felt justified in my actions <laughs> in the our kits this month we also got some beautiful card new cartabella collection and one of the sticker sheets we got had that fabulous black and white little bunting looking t um, sticker along there and I couldn't help but just try to tie that black and white photo in with some black and white elements there and also to help my title which as you can see there is going to be happy and I just fussy cut that out of one of the embellishments from the sweet story collection so it's really coming together I really am enjoying working in a 9 by 12 inch format it's a lovely lovely format that um, doesn't feel your layouts feel really quickly and you don't have to overly embellish to get that um, really nice sort of detailed look even though with all these little bits and bobs that you can see here that I'm sort through and thinking about for my layout I ac I really just want to play and stick lots and lots of goodies everywhere like that ice cream it can't be can't be more cuter than that and that we got some all just oh sorry tongue tied there some gorgeous bows from the sweet story collection there once again it's adding a little bit of dimension but I just couldn't help it with this layout I knew it had to I knew it had to have something to make it super sweet I also am just using a couple of little butterflies there and puffing their little vellum wings up I absolutely love these these are out of the sweet story collection as well adding a little bit more dimension but it sort of brings the layout to life and um and having those little wings puff up I just feel like there's butterflies flittering all over the over the page so I'm adding a few well I'm trying to add a few stickers some don't make the cut but as you can see I'm really just trying to build a bit of a cluster down the bottom there but I just couldn't I couldn't decide with all these gorgeous embellishments which was the right to use um, and I know that I've got a few more layouts to use with these kits before my next gorgeous kit arrives and I can't I, I, I just love it I just can't wait to play with all these gorgeous goodies these are the chipboard element that that sheet that you just see there are the chipboard elements from the sweet story collection and that gorgeous little camera that you see there is from the cardstock stickers from that sweet story collection there um, I'm also thinking about my title and how am I going to add a little bit more of an extra flair to it so I've got happy and then with those gorgeous um, thickers that you see they're sort of iridescent thickers there I'm just going to add a bit of a kiss and a cuddle down the bottom and that will sort of balance out the two sides of um, the title there so I've got that butterfly which is quite detailed and I thought if I add a bit of a kiss and a cuddle there that will balance out those two sides and um, and then I can finish off with um, some little enamel pieces um, there just to sort of add that those little tiny little bits of detail on on the edges there and my layout's complete so if you haven't heard of the hip hit club then I encourage you to check um, check it out if you love um, getting deliveries on your door full of scrappy goodness the hip kit club do amazing kits each month and um, I guarantee you you will be delighted um, those details are in the description below so if you're interested in checking them out if you're also new to my channel welcome um, I hope that you like my scrapping style and um, consider becoming a subscriber and autumn all and a big thank you to my um, lovely subscribers already that are so supportive of me and my little scrappy world here my scrappy channel um, I um, I feel really blessed to blessed to be sharing my projects with you and that you enjoy them so there you have it there's my 9 by 12 inch layout a little bit later on I am off camera I do add a bit of journaling in those lines that you see there um, I just there are times when I'm doing layouts and my head is not into journaling those right little moments but I end up finding something perfect there which just finishes off the page and and there we have it all right guys take care happy scrapping Bye.